Yeah, this is Dez from CJ Industries. Dez has brought the, the Destroyer 1011, which is now called the R3 impactor. But Dez, what was a key feature that made you go to an impact crusher? The advice from you, from your company, that we wanted a, a stone, we wanted to change the type of stone, the way that we were crushing our stone. Yeah. Because having a jaw and a cone, it wasn't producing the quality of stone out of alluvial stone that we required and was making it hard to work from the from the end, in the end result. So we chose Impactor as a machine that would produce more fines and a better shaped stone. The Impactor is a higher wear tool. Did that put you off the machine? Like compared to your draw on a cone, obviously didn't wear a, a, a hang of a lot. Um, it came under major consideration at the time. It, um, naturally speaking, you think of a a rotor with some blow bars flying around at 100 mile an hour, you'd think it's going to you know, it cause a lot of wear, and it does, but when you look at what it produces and then what it can produce per hour, you put all that into an equation and it still very, it comes out more, very economical. Yeah, that's interesting. So the other part of your business, you do a lot of civil works and um, subdivisional work. Did that any feedback from your men on the floor on, on what the material's like or was it better to work with in your, cut, your, old, your old setup? Yes, immediately it cut the um, cut back the, the working time, preparation time for an asphalt driveway or a tar seal driveway. Yeah. Straight away the the, um, the time factor of preparing those driveways cut back. So there was a saving there too. Yeah, so it's not just in the quarry sector that's, or in your quarry operation that's this machine's um, enhance your, your performance of your company, but it's also in your civil. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. No, that's interesting. So what, for Keystrack as a product, um, how do you class Keystrack? I mean, you even had other mobile machines, but... Um, I class them as fairly well up there. And as when we did that trip overseas, when we looked at other crushes, the Keystrack, Keystrack stood out for yeah. me. It, um, well built and good backing. And I was really impressed with their, the whole concept of their operation and how it's been put back into machines. Yeah. They are certainly a solid machine. I suppose your experience with Equip2 was um, in recommendations and, and the sales process, how did you find that? Yeah, good, good. Um, because literally the, the concept of, this type of concept of crushing is not, doesn't come sort of naturally to me. And so suddenly to have this idea put in my head and was something that took a bit of thinking through, which you guys really helped. And the end result is great. Yeah, well, that was interesting, really. At the start, we put the little small um, Rockstar 700 crusher, which did an all right tonnage at the time, but with the, with the way your business is structuring and, and grow, growth spurts, um, you found that that wasn't gonna keep up. So you, you say that was a good decision there? That was a really good decision. Yes, it was um, a real eye-opener actually. We, for us, it was a big change from what we had. And to go to the, the Roxton machine you talk of was a huge um, financial outlay for us. Yeah. But once we realised it wasn't going to future-proof us, and this, we go to a machine like this, it was a very good, sound decision.